In this quick and to the point guide, I'm gonna be showing you how to use HD textures with the PPSSPP emulator. There's a few places you can get PSP textures from, but the textures pack thread on the official emulator forums is the best place to start. Now for some of these projects, you'll find download links for the texture pack directly on the forum page. And when you're looking at these, definitely give it a good read through, as often you'll find instructions that are specific to that texture pack. As you can see with this one, we've got a times three version and a times six and sometimes you can find some recommended settings in here. For other slightly larger projects like Tekken 6 here, you'll often find a dedicated GitHub page and sometimes a dedicated website that you'll then need to navigate to to be able to download it. So don't expect all the download links to be available directly on the forums. Before you start downloading stuff, there is one really important thing that you need to know, and that is that the version of the texture pack that you're downloading needs to match the version of the game that you actually have. So with Tekken 6, you can see in brackets, we've got a bunch of letters and numbers. This is effectively the serial number of the version that you need to use. Checking the version number of the game that you actually have is really easy. All you need to do is bring up the emulator with your games list, right click on your game. And as you can see underneath the game title is that version number. And make sure this matches up with the version of the texture pack that you're downloading. Otherwise it's not gonna work. Sometimes finding the version number for the texture pack can be a little bit tricky, but it will be in the description and documentation of that texture pack somewhere. So of course, have a browse through this and then download the one that you want. Once you've downloaded the texture pack, don't unzip it just yet as you may be able to auto install it. This feature is pretty new to the emulator and as a result, not every texture pack supports it just yet. So to auto install this, all you need to do is drag the zip file that you downloaded into the emulator window, wherever you want and it will ask you to install it. So click install, and if it is supported, it will install it, in which case, that's all you need to do. If automatic install is not supported, when you click on this install button, it will tell you that it doesn't support install. So we need to manually install this instead. So you wanna right click on your texture pack, go down to 7-zip, and make sure that you use this extract to option. Once that's extracted, if you take a look inside, you should then find another folder that is named after the version number. And it's this folder that we're interested in. If we take a look inside this one, we can see all of those files for those HD textures. And the emulator will load these by searching for this version number, not the title of the game. So all of your HD textures need to be in folders that are named after that version number. On the odd occasion, you may even need to change the folder name to that number yourself. And don't forget, all you need to do is right click on your game entry to find out what it is. Now we need to add this folder to the correct place. And the best and easiest way to do this is to go into the emulator settings, go down to system on the left hand side, scroll down just a little bit and click on show memory stick folder. This will give you your actual memory stick folder location, irrespective of whether you're using the portable version or the installed version. So by clicking this, you can't miss and you're not gonna be putting these in the wrong place. So once you've got that memory stick folder up, go into it, go into this PSP folder. And as you can see at the bottom, we've got textures. All you need to do is move this folder that is named after the version number into that textures folder. So with the file system, it needs to go textures, the version number, and then the files for the HD textures. Now, before you start your game, you do want to double check that texture loading is actually active. So go back into settings, go into tools on the left hand side, click on developer tools and make sure that replace textures is checked. Now, if we go back and go into the graphics options, I do just want to quickly give some advice on these, especially with HD textures. It's recommended to use Vulkan if your hardware supports it for the best performance. With rendering resolution, you can pretty much go as high as your performance will allow, especially with HD textures. I'll still use some anti-aliasing, but you might not feel that it's necessary. And you might find yourself needing to use V-Sync again with HD textures. Now for me personally, I'll use anisotropic filtering at time 16 with auto max quality. And you definitely don't want to use any texture upscaling because you're already using HD textures. But do keep in mind, quite a lot of texture packs will have some recommended settings for the best results. So definitely keep an eye out in that documentation. If everything has been installed correctly, when you start your game, you should see texture replacement pack activated appear at the top. If you see that, you know it's working. There we go, that was my quick textures install guide for PPSSPP. Now I've already done this for PCSX2 with the intention to do it for as many emulators as possible. So if you wanna keep up to date with that, you know what to do. And if you liked today's video, slam me a thumbs up. And apart from that, go play some games. Adios.